Welcome to this short video on the Eugenius system. Eugenius is a new generation low cost integrated imaging system for DNA and protein analysis and gel documentation. This is your home screen, so to get a live image press the live button here. Once you have a live image your um, button then changes to your capture button. So once you have your live image, you need to select your light source. So using the lighting menu here, you can select from white light, that's for sample positioning, UV transluminator for your DNA, RNA gels, blue light converter screen for imaging safe dyes, your visible light converter screen for imaging Kamasi blue and silver stained gels. And if you have the new Genius Plus version, you can also image them free gels. The Genius system has a motorised lens which is controlled by the software. So you have your lens controls here. So your lens iris, so you open the iris to let in more light. If you have a particularly bright sample, you would like, most of you like to close the lens using the minus button here to reduce the amount of light getting to the camera. Your lens zoom, um, we recommend that you try and zoom in on your sample as much as possible so that it fills the screen. And you can use a plus and minus um, to zoom in or to zoom out. With your lens focus, you want nice, sharp, crisp bands. So use the plus or the minus to do minor adjustments to the focus. Within the new Genius software, there are two ways to set the exposure time. So you can use the plus and minus buttons here. You can also manually type in an exposure time using the on-screen keyboard. And also you can allow the software to automatically calculate the best capture time for you using the auto button here. So when you have a live image, it's important to check that the image is not saturated. And this is because um, when you've got a saturated image, um, you cannot go and quantify from that image. So to check the saturation, you press the saturation button here. And any areas that are saturated will appear yellow, as shown here. The Genius system has two useful features, EDR, which stands for Extended Dynamic Range, and that's particularly useful if you have bright and dark areas on the same image. And also we have DF, which is Dynamic Fielding, which corrects for any uneven lighting, um, which is particularly useful if you're using the visible light converter screen. The Eugenia software has a digital zoom, so you can zoom in on your image to see your bands more clearly if you want. So press the zoom button and then this will allow you to zoom in or out and you can also reset. So once you've captured your image, you can uh, save it onto a USB stick and you can save it as a TIFF or a JPEG file. So just press the save button here. To save your image to a USB stick, just plug in your USB stick here. The Genius software offers basic image enhancement tools, so you, um, you can do some basic image editing. So you can invert your image, so you have a white background with black bands. You can also rotate that image, so you can use the arrows or the plus and the minus buttons. You can also smooth or sharpen the image, so you can move the slider bar or you can use the plus and minus for some minor adjustments. We also have a brightness contrast slider bar, again you can move the slider bar to make it lighter or darker or if you want you can use the plus and the minus buttons and you can always reset using the reset button. You can also add text um, to your image, so pressing the add text button should bring up an on-screen keyboard and you can type in if you want to say you had a hundred base pairs and press enter and then you can move that text anywhere you want on your image. You can also edit your text 
So you can go back and change anything. You can change the colour using the palette here. You can increase or decrease the size and you can also remove text. When you have a USB stick connected, you can open saved images, you can also rename any save files that you might have and we highly recommend that when you finish saving images or opening images that you eject your USB drive safely using this button here. To access the settings for the New Genia system, press the settings button. It should bring up a pop-up window. You can change the strobe compensation from 50 to 60 hertz, depending which region of the world you're in. And you can also override the UV um, so that you can cut out bands. So you can override the UV by um, the software, but also manually by pulling out this button here and pressing that one in and that will override your UV. You can purchase a thermal printer to go with your new Genius system and if you have purchased a printer you can select it from the list here to press the select printer button and choose your printer from the list. You can also change the date and time so you select the internal clock button here and then you can select your date and the time. Okay, you can also um, purchase a network dongle to connect your new Genius system to the network um, and you can choose which location to save your files so you can either save by USB or if you have a network connection by network. The about button contains useful information about what software version that you are currently using and also how to contact um, Syngene if you have any support issues. So when you finish using New Genius System, um, we recommend that you shut down the software using the shut down button here and then wait 20 seconds before turning off the unit at the back. We hope you've enjoyed our short video on New Genius System and have seen how easy it is to set up and to use.